everyone, my name is Sarah and today I'm going to be doing a book haul! I feel like I haven't done one of these in years, it has just been so long but I'm so excited to share all of the books that I've recently bought and received. All of these are recent releases or upcoming releases so there are a lot of really excellent titles on this pile and I'm just really excited to gush about all of them. I will hopefully get around to them soon but you all know my TBR is like a mess and I'm sure it's the same for all of yours but yeah I'm just like super excited to talk about books the first book I have on that massive stack is The Disasters by MK England which I am very obsessed with already because look at that cover not only is purple my favorite thing in like the entire world but I'm so here for all the sci-fi books in my life so hopefully The Disasters will be like right up my alley The Disasters is about a hotshot pilot called Nax who is is prone to making terrible decisions so it is no surprise that he gets kicked off his space station and is forced to return to Earth. However, on his way back he encounters this terrorist group who launch an attack and he is the only one who witnesses this. Now he's being used as a scapegoat and he's on the run with these other misfits and together they have to kind of prove their innocence while also running from this terrifying group. So these people have to band together to do a heist and prove what really happened to the academy. I am so here for sci-fi books and of course bands of misfits is everything I love in my life so hopefully the disasters will be one of my new favorite books. The next book I have is We Are Blood and Thunder which is a new upcoming fantasy novel which I'm really really excited for. This book sounds like a really interesting fantasy novel about a land where magic is outlawed and anyone who is a mage is sentenced to death. This book is about a girl called Lena who is on the run after being sentenced to death and the only people that she can trust are the ones that she's been brought up to fear and that is people with magic. There she meets this other girl who has magical powers who escaped before they could persecute her and they have to team up to try and stop this spell that's descended upon their city before it ruins everything. This sounds like such an intense novel with strong female characters at its core and I'm just really excited to read it. Another book I bought recently was Slayer by Kirsten White which I have been excited for ever since it was announced. I know I'm like super late to the party but I'm only just binging Buffy at the moment and I am loving it oh my god it is my life it is my love it is the only meaning to this dull bland world and I am just obsessed with it to say the least I'm currently almost finished season six and I love it so much and just all the characters are amazing and I just ship so many of them and it's just so fun to watch so of course I had to pick up Slayer which I know absolutely nothing about apparently it's set in the Buffy verse which is great but the that also means that I don't want to pick it up until I finish Buffy because I am terrified of spoilers. I can't even read the blab because I don't know if it will spoil anything about Buffy but apparently this Slayer exists where Buffy is no longer the Slayer. I don't know. I don't even want to think about that because I love Buffy so much. But yeah, I'm really excited to read Slayer. I need more vampire books in my life and 2019 is the year for that. So I'm just so here for it. Next up, I received The Honeyman and the Hunter, which is an upcoming Aussie release. This book is about a boy whose grandmother suddenly appears in his hometown and it's about him trying to figure out where he really belongs and it's about family and loss and it sounds really great. The Honeyman and the Hunter is a coming of age novel about what it's like to be biracial and trying to figure out where you really belong. It sounds like such a lovely novel and I'm just really excited to read it. Another book that I'm really excited to get around to reading is The Secret Runners of New York by Matthew Riley. This book is about an upcoming apocalypse and an underground gang that has the ability to teleport into the future. I literally know nothing about this book besides that but it is just so intriguing. I haven't read anything by Matthew Riley before so I'm really excited to get to know his writing style 
and I have just heard such good things about this book. The hype for this one is real and I hope I love it as much as everyone else currently is. But yeah, once I finish it, of course, I'm excited to share my thoughts with you. Next up, I have Izzy and Tristan, which is said to be the new YA romance that everyone needs in their life. So it's about this 16 year old girl who dreams of being a doctor who is suddenly moved to Brooklyn and she meets this boy called Tristan who is a chess prodigy and one night they just really connect. This sounds like such a cute novel. I definitely need more fun contemporaries in my life and hopefully I'll adore this one and it will become one of my new top contemporary YA recommendations. So fingers crossed I'm really excited to read it. Another book I've received recently is How It Feels to Float by Helena Fox. This is a new Love Us YA novel due out in May and it's about family and loss and tragedy and mental health and it sounds really beautiful. The blurb honestly tells me nothing more than that but with all the praise on the front cover I know I'm just gonna adore it. This book is going to be one that I just devour in one sitting. I know already that I'm definitely gonna cry. It's just that type of book and I'm so ready for it. I feel like I haven't read a really teary book in a while um, so I'm looking forward to this. Next up I have the new A.S. King novel which is called Dig. John Green blurred this book and he said amazing things about it so I'm really excited to pick it up and of course I have loved all of A.S. King's other work so hopefully Dig will be just as superb. This is a book about a really rich family and about the teens who have to come to terms with how toxic their affluent culture really is. It's about white supremacy and a family being torn apart and it sounds really poignant and heart stopping and of course course I know because it's A.S. King I'm bound to cry bucket loads while reading this book and I'm really excited to see how much I like it. The next book I have here is Can't Beat the Chemistry which is an upcoming Aussie release that I'm so excited to read. This book sounds absolutely adorable. It's about this girl who just cares about getting good grades in her final year of high school when she's forced to tutor this deadbeat drummer who she does not get along with. But as their tutoring sessions progress, she realizes that maybe she could learn a few lessons from the drummer as well. This is a book about friendship and love and chemistry and high school and it just sounds so adorable. The next book I have is Promise Me Happy by Robert Newton, which is another Aussie novel. How many great Aussie releases are there coming out? I'm just so excited. This book is about a boy who has an abusive father and his mother is dead and he's done more than a couple of things he regrets. He feels like his life is not really going anywhere and then he meets someone who kind of reminds him what it is to feel happy. This book is a new contemporary novel about family and grief and domestic violence and it sounds so heart-wrenching and so beautiful and I know that I will just devour this one in one sitting. The second to last book I have here is Growing Up Muslim in Australia which is a new collection of short stories by Muslim Australian writers. I am a massive fan of all the collections of growing up blank in Australia, like growing up queer in Australia, growing up disabled in Australia. There are so many of these books coming out and I'm really excited about them. This book is of course all about growing up Muslim in Australia and how culture and family and gender play a massive role in that. I only know a couple of the contributing authors in this anthology so I'm really excited to get to meet some new authors that I will hopefully love and from there I can go and read more of their stuff so it's like a win-win. So excited to read this. And finally I have The Disasters by PC Cast and Kristen Cast. I read this series The House of Night when I was 13. I read like all of the books. I was absolutely obsessed. So I'm really interested to see what kind of path the disasters will take. Apparently this is a book about teens with superheroes and a villainous father and it just sounds like a fun kind of easy read. I have heard mixed things about the disasters but look I love good trash so if that's what this book is I'm here for it. But I really hope this book will live up to my expectations. I love books with like superheroes and teens with power so hopefully this one will be as good as all of the other ones I've read. But that is my book haul. I hope you enjoyed hearing about all of the books I've received and bought recently. I'm really excited to get around to reading all of these and if you've read any of them do let me know what you thought of them because I would love to hear that. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you soon for a new video. Bye everyone!